Welcome to an introduction to mid-segments of a triangle. A mid-segment of a triangle is a line segment, pictured here in red, that connects two midpoints of adjacent sides of a triangle. So this is the midpoint of this side of the triangle. Therefore, we know that this segment here is going to go into this segment here. And this is the midpoint on the adjacent side of the triangle. Therefore, this segment here is congruent to this segment here. And if we constructed all three mid-segments of a triangle, it would look like this. And there are a lot of properties that involve the mid-segments of a triangle. Let's take a look at an animation before we define them. Here we see a triangle with its three mid-segments. Notice how I've color-coded one side of the triangle and one mid-segment. The first thing you might notice is that the green segments, red segments, and blue segments appear to be parallel. If you take a look at the lengths of the green segments, blue segments, and red segments, it looks like the mid-segment is half the length of the parallel side of the triangle. As we change the triangle, notice how these properties don't change. Notice how the Notice how the color-coded segments still appear to be parallel, and the mid-segment is half the length of the parallel side of the triangle. There's one more thing you might notice. The mid-segments cut the original triangle into four smaller triangles. And believe it or not, all four of those triangles are congruent. Let's go ahead and formalize our observations. First, the mid-segment of a triangle joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle such that the mid-segment is parallel to the third side of the triangle. So this mid-segment here is parallel to this side of the triangle here. This mid-segment here is parallel to this side of the triangle. And then this mid-segment is parallel to this side of the triangle. Next, the mid-segment of a triangle joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle such that the length of the mid-segment is half the length of the third side of the triangle. So for example, if the length of this side of the triangle was 20 inches, the length of the parallel mid-segment would be 10 inches. And it also follows that if the length of this mid-segment was 8 inches, then the side of the triangle that's parallel to that would be twice that length, or 16 inches. So in general, if the length of this side was 2x inches, then the length of the mid-segment would be x inches. And the last property we'll discuss in this video is that all four small triangles inside the larger triangle are congruent by side, side, side. And let's take a look at why that is. Well, first, if this is a midpoint of this side of the triangle, we know that this segment is congruent to this segment. And if this is a midpoint, this segment would be congruent to this segment. And if this is a midpoint, this segment here would be congruent to this segment here. Well, the next thing to notice is, well, remember the length of this mid-segment here is half the length of this side of the triangle. Well, if this is the midpoint, half of the length of this segment would be the length of this segment here. So this mid-segment is congruent to the segment that makes up half the length of this side of the triangle. And this mid-segment here would be half the length of this side of the triangle. Therefore, it's congruent to the segment that has two hash marks. And then lastly, this mid-segment here is half the length of this side of the triangle. And half that length would be the length of a segment with one hash mark. And now notice that all three sides of these smaller triangles have one, two, and three hash marks. Therefore, they're all congruent by side, side, side. We'll take a look at some example problems using these properties in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.